we have a problem. Offcuts. A lot of them. While we use them for heating the workshop during the winter months, we still need to cut them into smaller pieces and store them efficiently. Up until now, we've been using these large stackable boxes, but we had an idea that could work even better. Something that goes with the offcut pile and take up less space when not in use. And if it works well, we will share the 3DXI files for the build on ribobox.com. The idea is similar to the pallet packing boxes. You add a wall section on top of a base panel and stack more as the box fills up. But instead of pallet walls and metal brackets, we are using small sheet of plywood and interlocking walls that connect with half lap joints. The walls can be made from narrower strips of plywood, which makes this a great way to use up the leftover offcuts. For the test build, we are using laminated sheets that we already have laying around in the workshop. First, we are cutting the base for the offcut tower and a few of the wall components. Once the first parts are ready, we can quickly round over the edges on the workbench and secure the foundation pieces to the base panel. The bottom supports use regular mortise and tenon joints, which should keep everything solid even if the tower gets quite tall. To make the offcut pile movable, we also add some wheels. I'm using the same type of casters we used on dust collection cabinet. Simple, durable and perfect for workshop use. You can also get the 3DXF files for these casters on ribabox.com. Now that we got the base for the offcut tower ready, it's time to make more wall parts. So I'm loading another sheet on the CNC router and starting the next operation. Meanwhile, we also need to cut down the existing offcuts into smaller pieces for the furnace. While the CNC does its job, I'm using the miter saw to slice the offcuts. It's not the perfect method, but it works just fine. By the time the wall parts are cut, we have already got a good pile of furnace ready offcuts. After giving the new components a quick pass on the router table, we can start stacking up the tower. The half lap joints make assembly quick and tool free. Fill the new section with offcuts and repeat until there is nothing left in the pile. When burning the offcuts, we can remove each wall section for easier access. But once the tower is empty, we need a place to store the walls. For that we will make a simple wall shelf, similar to the sacrificial frame project. Also joined using half laps. After a quick CNC operation and a couple of passes with a trim router, we can trap the shelf parts between the supports, attach it to the back panel and secure it with a few screws. With the storage shelf assembled, we can mount it to the wall and use it to neatly store all the extra wall modules until they are needed again. And just like that, we have built a simple workshop project that makes a big difference when dealing with the offcut problem. Now the offcut box can grow as we work on new projects and shrink as the workshop gets warmer during the winter months. If a tower like this could be useful in your workshop, you can download the 3DXI files for it on arebabox.com. We have uploaded a few different size towers, so you can pick the one that fits your space best. Thanks for watching, stay creative, and I'll see you next time.